The remote WSL extension lets you seamlessly connect your normal VS Code window to the Linux instance running under the Windows subsystem for Linux. This means that all of your user settings, so themes, keyboard shortcuts, those type of things, will continue to just work, but you'll have a more seamless Linux development experience. Now here I've already installed the extension, and I have WSL set up with Ubuntu, uh, so let's go and actually connect to that. To start, I'm going to open up the command palette with Control shift p and then say WSL open, and I want the remote WSL open folder in WSL setting here. When I run this, you can see that VS Code has brought open a file dialog. This is actually under my WSL instance already. So now I can just browse around and select which folder I want to open here. So I'm going to go back and let's go to projects here. And then I'm going to say my app, which is just a simple React app. Uh, and this is going to be now opened under WSL. So again, this looks pretty much just like my normal VS Code window. So I have my theme that's been carried over, all of my key bindings, those type of things would continue to work. The difference in how we know this is connected to the WSL instance is that down here, we can see that it's saying, uh, WSL Ubuntu 20.04, and up here it's also telling us that as well. Now if we look at something like the integrated terminal, this is also connected to the WSL instance. So we could say uname here, and it's Linux. So this has automatically been connected to my WSL instance. Now even though we are connected to this instance, all of the features in VS Code will continue to work. So I could go and trigger IntelliSense here, I have my IntelliSense still kicking in. So all of the features continue working, but we are now connected to this instance. So you can use this window pretty much just like your normal VS Code window, but just to show off some of the seamless integration here, if I go and I run npm start to actually start up the app. So this, again, is a simple React app that's going to be run. You can see that VS Code has now gone and launched my default Windows browser. So in this case, it's launched Edge, and it has actually connected my default Windows browser, so again, running under Windows, to the server that is being run under Linux, um, so in the WSL instance here. So pretty cool. All I had to do was run uh, npm start down here in the terminal and has automatically launched that and automatically connected. And we didn't have to set up port forwarding or worry about anything like that there. So that's a quick look at the remote WSL extension for VS Code. If you're doing any Linux development work on Windows, I definitely recommend that you install this extension as it provides a much more seamless development experience.